So when we talk about the sugarcane aphid and management plan for, for an IPM plan for managing them on high plains, I think one of the most important things we can look at is an early planning, uh, planning date. Uh, in 2016 and 14, we had an early versus late planted sorghum study. It wasn't necessarily di designed for the sugarcane aphid, uh, mm -hmm. it, but it's certainly uh, come into play as we've uh, uh, evaluated IPM plan for, the, for this major pest. So what do we have here is uh, block planted, uh, where we're using years as replications, early planted versus late planted. Uh, same sorghum variety, same uh, planting seed per acre. Uh, what we're looking at uh, is the early planting being planted in April, the last week of April, the first week of May, and the late planting being the uh, mid-June to late-June time period. Uh, we're not looking at controlling any of the pests. We're just going to look at recording when they show up and how, uh, how hard they hit. So here's what we had in 14 and 2016. Notice every pest except spider mites were heavier in the later planted sorghum. And the spider mites are going to tend to be more of a corn pest and will likely go that way anyway. So when we're looking at not just sugarcane aphid, but uh, say sorghum midge, an average uh, uh, bloom date for Plainview uh, or arrival date for the sorghum midge would be August 4th. So if our sorghum is time to bloom before that, we can avoid pest damage that way. We see here on this slide the economic threshold that uh, that's just representative uh, to put all these different pests on the same slide. If we look close at that 2016 for the sugarcane aphid in particular, the late planted was well over threshold, whereas the early planted just barely touched there. Um, and we, we look at that uh, that pest, and uh, we'll hit the next slide. And uh, here's one of the theories we're we're looking at is. Uh, uh, see the blue line there. This is a different slide where uh, we're just comparing those different stages of the plant. The early planted was able to develop through some very critical stages before the sugarcane aphid hit hard enough to beat uh, the economic threshold. Versus the late planted, it was still in flag and, and uh, uh, early bloom when the uh, sugarcane aphid hit that hard and uh, was definitely well over threshold. And I, I remind folks, we weren't treating this pest uh, at this time for this trial. We we're just recording what happens out there. And so in, in addition to this experimental work, we saw time and time again in actual grower fields that the early planted crop escaped a lot of the damage, but the standard and late planted crop got hit pretty heavily. And that, that, that goes back to the arrival time of the aphid uh, when those immigrants uh, came in in, in July in 15 and uh, August in 16. But if you're playing the averages, the one thing you can do that makes the most sense is to go ahead and get it out there early and try to outrun the aphid. That's right, and that's what this slide shows. And uh, this trial wasn't necessarily designed to go to yield, mostly because we uh, couldn't... Uh, couldn't manage uh, the irrigation and things like that for these two uh, blocks planted side by side. But we see here the early planted made about 3,400 pounds. You know, that's not great, especially when we had a lot of birds early planted. Uh, you might say mismanaged for water. But that's not a misprint on the late planted on the yield. That's uh, 1.3 pounds of grain uh, per acre is what we got out of that, that test. And that relates back to the sugarcane aphid and when it hit at those critical stages because uh, it, it arrived during that, that period of time. 